guys ladies and gentlemen welcome to my cool channel my name is cherry mark thanks again for joining me this evening i'm so glad that you are watching me wherever you are and yeah it's another time again after a uh, quite some time not being posting videos but guys we you know for, from wherever you are from every part of this globe from any part of the world be it america be it you um excuse me be it africa be it america australia asia from wherever you are watching me we are going through a world crisis and we're going through an epidemic of coronavirus that has hit every part of the world the most affected being Europe after China and Asia but currently being Europe that's the most affected area now I just wanted to teach you some of the few precautions that we as people who are learning Kikuyu are supposed to take and if you know anyone outside there who doesn't understand English or Kiswahili or any other language and he is he or she is in a position to speak um, Kikuyu these are the measures that I want you to give that kind of a person now we are not going to waste time we're going to start right away now the first thing we learn is how do we call corona virus in kikuyu how do we call a disease a disease is called morimo uh what if i'm talking about coronavirus i'll say morimo wa corona virus morimo wa corona virus i'm talking about a disease corona virus morimo wa corona virus now the first preca precaution that is passed by our world health organization is hygiene and that means hand hygiene what do you do as a person and you want to give instructions to someone in kikuyu dabia moko wadabia moko wadabia moko wash your hands dabia moko dabia moko wash your hands dabia moko dabia moko what if i say you have to wash your hands often dabia moko maku maitamaige dabia moko is wash your hands maitamaige often or regularly or many times wash your hands often wash your hands regularly wash your hands many times dabia moko maitamaige dabia moko maitamaige dabia moko maitamaige or just say wash your hands dabia moko dabia moko now there's still one um uh, there's also there's still there are still some other precautions that is that are uh, advised by our world health health organization and that is keep a distance keep distance avoid crowds avoid people that are sitting together avoid that how do i tell someone to keep a distance ikara haraihu ikara haraihu keep a distance ikara haraihu ikara haraihu na modoryogi ikara haraihu na modo oryogi ikara haraihu na modo oryogi keep a distance from someone else keep a distance from someone else what if i want to say keep a distance of 1.5 meters ikara haraihu mitemwe nanudu ikara haraihu mitemwe nanudu harimo doryogi ikara haraihu mitemwe nanudu harimo doryogi or you can say 
keep a distance of two meters. Keep a distance of two meters from one another. Ikara harai hu mitaigere hamu doriogi. Ikara harai hu or raihereria mu doriogi mitaigere. Raihereria mu doriogi mitaigere. Two meters. Mita igere. 1.5 meters. Mita emwe nanudu. Mita emwe nanudu. Raihereria keep away. Raihereria keep away. Raihereria modoriogi. Mita emwe nanudu. Raihereria modoriogi. Mita emwe. Mita emwe nanudu. Raihereria modoriogi. The other person. Keep away or keep a distance from the other person. Two meters or 1.5 meters now the next one that is highly advised is to avoid sneezing openly avoid coughing avoid sneezing openly instead sneeze on your elbow or cough right on your elbow so how do I give instructions in Kikuyu and tell to tell or educate someone how to sneeze or how to cough on their elbows? Korora mokoine maku. Korora mokoine maku. Or hubera kanua. Hubera kanua gaku. Oge korora. Hubera kanua gaku oge korora na guoko. Hubera cover your, cover your mouth while you are coughing with your hand or while you are sneezing with your hands. Hubera, hubera kanua gaku oge korora. Hubera kanua gaku oge adhimora. Chew! Wadimura. Chew. Wadimura. To sneeze is wadimura. To cough, gokorora. Gokorora. Hubera kanuagaku oge korora. Or cover your face or your mouth or your nose while you're coughing. Don't cough openly. Don't cough in crowds don't cough right direct to someone else cover your stuff who better who better or use your hand who better na guoko waku who better now those are one of the major steps and precautions that are advised during this coronavirus epidemic that the whole world is facing people this is real this is this is not a joke we must take measures nituraho yo toria duo the forori nima tuone tu tuike metaratara ino um world health organization era to hoya nituraho yo muno muno to to eke metaratereyo na to 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 gerie ginya korora aduare matoi matoi murimo wa korona to gerie kumera kumera na kumonia maudu maria marede kanu ni we you know remember um prevention is better than cure so if we don't take the measures right now we have already seen what has happened in china we've seen what has been going on in asia and this is not a joke so before this hits us to that peak we have to practice we have to take the measures that are required from us and only with these measures are we going to survive we are already in a very bad crisis uh, right now some of us or some of our uh, people in europe or wherever in the u.s or 
Australia or even in Africa are facing a complete lockdown from their daily activities in life to spread, to stop the spread of this disease, of this virus. So let's take the measures very, very seriously. I hope you are very safe wherever you are. Please spread this message to someone else outside there. Please, let's make sure we are doing this. We are doing our hand hygiene. Let's wash our hands as frequent as possible. Let's sanitize our hands. Remember, you sanitize that with alcohol. That's how you kill the germs, the coronavirus germs. It has to be 99% ethanol. So remember to wash your hands, sanitize them with alcohol-based disinfection or hand sanitizer and be very careful don't try to improvise some kind of hand hand sanitizers or alcohol based uh, substances to clean your hands remember alcohol is flammable and it can cause burns so be careful with your choice of disinfection uh, disinfectants and hand sanitizers I just saw a case of someone who had burned like her whole horns all her skin was brushed off from you know from using uh, some stupid stuff that are that are in the name of alcohol to sanitize them that is wrong and that is risky please let's keep safe keep a distance keep a distance and avoid crowds avoid going to people meetings or people who are together somewhere avoid 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 that because currently we even do not know who is spreading the virus who is positive who is not positive it is very risky to stay outside there to be having close contact with people apart from people that you're staying with your family and that but the rest please keep that off it is only for now that we have to keep that off but then if the virus is over we will definitely go back to our normal life and our friends i know we miss that so much but anyway we have to fight this otherwise we 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 will be speaking about something else and it will it won't be really nice we might not be speaking about our friends you know but then anyway the next thing we are already uh, we are taught or we are also uh, asked to do is to sneeze or cough on our elbows we should cover our cough our sneezing with our elbows please avoid that and if you know anyone outside there who's um who is coughing sneezing keep them off keep them completely off if you are in a position to have a mask please place the mask right in your face cover yourself and don't inhale any stuff from someone who's coughing or anyone who is sneezing keep them off and avoid inhaling that uh, air or anything so please ladies and gentlemen we must be very 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 cautious the thing is killing people it's spreading like crazy and i don't know where we are heading to we can only continue praying for our country for our world for everybody and even let's not forget to educate our people who are in the rural areas up country you know our shoshos our gukas they need education they need someone who is looking after them these are the people that we need to protect as much as possible i'm begging you and i'm asking you i am appealing everybody outside there if you're watching this video please make sure you educate your grand uh, your grandparents your elders, those who are not in urban areas and are not uh, coming, they are not having access to these messages, the social media and everything, the TV and radio, radios, please, let's educate them. Let's 
pass this information as quick as possible because remember the more you are aged the more you are on risk and also don't forget if anyone or anyone of us or you or i don't know is suffering from any respiratory disease or any other disease this is the person we also need to think about we have to emphasize these measures to everybody who is having other histories of respiratory diseases be it asthma be it um uh, severe coughing chronic coughing tuberculosis anything to do with the respiratory disease respiratory failure we should educate these people these are the people that highly highly need these measures i'm not saying that we are also not uh, in need of the measures but remember if you have a history of any disease going inside your uh, covering your respiratory uh, organs you are at high risk so let's pass this message to everyone ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for watching this video i hope i was in a position to help you i was in a position to spread this message to you who is watching me outside there and it was of great help please let's stay safe wherever you are wherever we are and till we meet again next time thank you so much for joining me and thank you for watching goodbye